Hey, what's going on, heroes? Poji Force here, and today we got another big Pokemon news drop. Now, we got a lot of new information in this video. I wanted to cover it earlier in the day. I probably look a little raggedy, but I was very busy today, so unfortunately, I could not get a video up earlier in the day for you guys. I'm very sorry about that. But we're here now, and we're going to talk about all the brand new stuff that came out with this newest Pokemon Sun and Moon trailer. Now, I can't actually show you the trailer itself due to copyright reasons, but I do have a lot of still images for you guys, and we're going to talk about it. And if you want to see the video for yourself, the link to the, to the actual trailer will be in the description below. So, we're going to actually break this up into three segments, because I have a lot of interesting theories based around what we had to see in this latest trailer. Now, the first thing that I want to talk about is this guy right here. And that is Alolan Marowak. Now, I called that. If you noticed in the last video we did about the Pokemon Sun and Moon news footage, I called a Fire-type Marowak. So, this is pretty awesome. And I even thought it might have been Fire Ghost because it just kind of kind of makes sense given Keybone and Marowak's backstory. So, I wasn't the only one. I'm sure a lot of other people caught on to the fact that the uh, trial captain for the Fire-typing had a Marowak, and it wouldn't make sense for it to not be fire if he's all about fire Pokemon. But its abilities are Cursed Body and Lightning Rod. Lightning Rod is not as useful on it when you consider that it's no longer a ground type. So, if it soaks those electric attacks, it's gonna soak those electric attacks. Cursed Body is an ability I'm not familiar with, so I don't know what exactly that does. I have a guess, but I don't know exactly what that does. He looks super awesome. Marowak does, and actually, he even got a brand new signature move. Now, you may remember Bone Rush or Bone Meringue from the original Marowak. Well, this one apparently has some kind of ghost version. It's like some sort of weird will-o'-wispy ghost bone that's super effective against this Haunter. So, we know that he's going to have some new ghost type attacks, and I hope with his new fire typing, he's going to have some new fire type attacks. It just makes sense. You don't have a fire type Pokemon who can't use fire type moves, especially when he's the featured Pokemon of the fire type uh, trial captain, so it just makes sense. Now the next Pokemon we're going to talk about is the second of three new Alolan forms that were shown to us today, and that is Alolan Meowth. Now the thing about Alolan Meowth is that this is a Pokemon that makes a lot of sense. The dark type Meowth. And that's because Meowth already is kind of associated with the dark typing. In Japan it's known as the evil typing, and Meowth's already associated with Team Rocket. He's the mascot for Team Rocket. And he already knows a lot of dark type moves, like he can learn Thief, he can learn uh, Knock Off, he can learn Bite, all of those are dark type moves. Its abilities are Pickup and Technician, which are the same abilities it can already have, so that's kind of a disappointment. Honestly, Meowth basically had a typing change and a slight cosmetic change. All of its moves are probably going to be the same, and its abilities are the same, so mild disappointment there. But it does, it, I will say that the uh, the change to its appearance, I like it because it's kind of like, it makes me think of Catwoman. It's very feminine, it's kind of got this cocky, I know I'm pretty kind of thing about it. So, I really like Alolan Meowth's look. I don't think it's going to be as interesting as some of the new other Alolan forms we got, but you know that if there's Alolan Meowth, there's going to be an Alolan Persian. They didn't show it to us, but you know there's going to be one because you don't get a fancy brand new alternate form Meowth and then have it evolve into a regular Persian. That's just not how things are done. It's not interesting that way. Now the last Alolan Pokemon that we got, and I'm very interested in this one, is Raichu. And it's an electric psychic type this time. And it has this, its tail is kind of like a surfboard. It rides on its tail like a surfboard. And it's got these big, bright, uh, blue eyes, baby doll eyes, with wings that, well not wings, they're ears, but they look like wings, they look like they can even detach. And it's got a new ability called Surge Surfer. Now well, I really like that Raichu got new Lolan form, because I honestly don't think Pikachu will. Pikachu's kind of an icon, he's a mascot, you don't change Pikachu. But this makes people actually want to use Raichu, because before Raichu, this new Raichu, it was all Pikachu with light bulb. And it was a beat stick, at least, you know, as far as whatever tier it's in. It wasn't like the best Pokemon ever, but I did some work with it back in Generation 4, so I have some respect for um, Pikachu and Lightball. But this new Raichu happens to also have 
the new ability Surge Surfer. And what Surge Surfer does is that when he's on the electric terrain field, his speed is doubled. Now I think this is very interesting because it definitely gives Raichu a very good ability because you can just stack into that special attack. He's got a new typing, Psychic and Electric, which means he's got access to, I'm sure he's got like Psychic and a few other powerful dark, uh, Psychic type attacks in his new move pool that are going to be super awesome. And then you have this new terrain bonus that doubles his speed. And this is actually going to be very interesting in two ways because that means you have a reason to use electric terrain now. Most of these terrain moves like fairy field or whatever and electric terrain and all that, there wasn't much of a reason to use it. There just wasn't a reason to use it. Now there is. But we'll get more into that because the other two segments we're going to talk about, not in this video, but we're going to be talking about uh, different moves and the new Pokemon, and we're also going to be talking about the new team that was revealed, but that will be in other videos for a later time. Maybe tomorrow, over the next day or two, we're going to be talking about that stuff. But I just wanted to talk about the Alolan forms today, and I had a very interesting uh, theory. What if all Generation 1 Pokemon got an Alolan form in Pokemon Sun and Moon? Think about that for a minute. Don't immediately discredit it, because we've already seen eight new Alolan forms. And they've all been Generation 1 Pokemon. And while I, I did say Pikachu is probably not going to get in Alolan form. And we haven't seen an Execute, even though they showed us Executor. And we haven't seen Cubone, even though they've shown us Marowak. But, hear me out. I think that there is a good option for potentially either all the Generation 1 Pokemon to get Alolan forms. Or at least every evolutionary line in Generation 1 to get in Alolan form. Because the whole theme of this of this game is it all comes together. There's a whole lot of references to Pokemon Generation 1. The four islands supposedly are going to be named after the four colors of the Generation 1 Pokemon games. Red, blue, green, and yellow. As well as the four, you know, color-coded typings of the starter Pokemon from Generation 1. Charmander, Squirtle, Bulbasaur, and in yellow version, Pikachu. So there's a lot tying Generation 1 to this new game and I really think that these generation 1 Pokemon most if not all of them are going to have an Alolan form and it's really interesting if you think about it because that sets up a precedent now picture this you got you got generation 7 Pokemon Sun and Moon and all the generation 1 Pokemon have an alternate form of some kind and then you get to generation 8 whatever that may be I can't even fathom what that's going to be yet but then in generation 8 all the Generation 2 Pokemon get alternate forms. Okay, and then you get to you, you see the you see the trend here, and then you get to Generation 9. All the Generation 3 Pokemon have alternate forms, so on and so forth. Now the cool thing about that is that's kind of like giving us new Pokemon without giving us new Pokemon. Though they did give us new Pokemon, and I'll talk to you about that in another video. But it's a way to breathe new life into older species. Like for example, like I was talking about, no one used Raichu. No one seriously used Raichu. After this Raichu, people will seriously use Raichu. People will seriously use the new Ninetales. People will at least try the new Executor, even though he's kind of freaky looking. This breathes new life into old Pokemon that people kind of forgot about, because you're just going to let like Raichu sit in the dumpster bin of Pokemon history? No, you're going to try to breathe some new life into him and see if what good he can do. So I think that's the plan here. I think that's what Nintendo is going to do. I could be wrong. I think I'm, I'm, there's still, I know I understand there's a really good chance I could still be wrong here. But if I'm not, think of how awesome that would be. But that's all I want to talk with you guys about in this episode. The next video, I'll be talking about the new evil team that was revealed and how I think that might tie into the overall theme of the new Pokemon game. So stay tuned for that. That's all I want to tell you guys about today. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to stay tuned for future videos. And as always, heroes, I'm Poji Force, and you guys stay awesome. Take care.